On today's episode, the solid state battery, the solution for weak EV sales. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. Quote, the storage battery is, in my opinion, a catch penny, a sensation, a mechanism for swindling the public by stock companies. The storage battery is one of those peculiar things which appeals to the imagination, and no more perfect thing could be desired by stock swindlers than that very self-same thing. Just as soon as a man gets working on the secondary battery, it brings out his latent capacity for lying." Unquote. Thomas Edison said those words in a February 1883 edition of the London-based publication The Electrician, and his frustration and skepticism are still prevalent today. The desire to build better batteries for electric vehicles existed from the dawn of the horseless carriage, and 130 years after the birth of the automobile, we're simply not there yet. But things are looking up. Current generation lithium-ion batteries have made EVs a practical proposition for millions, although serious challenges remain in range and affordability. But the battery industry is bifurcated into two general groups, the dreamers, the backyard inventors and hucksters that Edison complained about, and the physics-driven, serious companies that work closely with major automakers. Woburn, Massachusetts-based Factorial Incorporated is the latest company to announce a breakthrough in solid-state electric vehicle batteries. The technology, which the firm calls FEST for Factorial Electrolyte System Technology, uses a solid-state lithium-ion design and is far enough along the development timeline that assembled batteries are now in the hands of technology partner Mercedes-Benz. Factorial has built a $50 million manufacturing plant near Boston, which can accommodate an assembly line capable of 200 megawatts per hour production, which the company claims will be the largest solid-state battery assembly line in America. The key to the firm's technology is a novel dry cathode design, which enables energy densities of up to 450 watt-hours per kilogram, performance which the firm claims can extend electric vehicle range by up to 80%. The sulfide-based, all-solid-state electrolyte is less flammable than current liquid electrolyte designs, and it remains stable at operating temperatures over 90 C. This has the added benefit of reducing battery cooling system requirements and simplifying EV design. Complete batteries, which the firm intends to market under the trade name Solstice, are expected to find applications in other energy density critical applications, such as electric aviation and handheld consumer products. Many research and development companies worldwide are working on improving energy density, lowering cost, and improving safety in battery technology, including solid state. Will factorial succeed compared to the others? Well, we won't know until automotive pilot level production is achieved and the auto industry begins extensive testing, but Mercedes-Benz, Stellantis, Hyundai Motor Company, and Kia have all entered into agreements with factorial, with cross-appointed board members from Mercedes-Benz and Stellantis. Full implementation of the technologies are expected to take about five years. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.